Welcome to my mini farm. Where I live in the country, I'm so lucky to be able to have an awesome hydroponic garden and loving animals that I raise. I just love my animals. They are a huge part of my family's life. Every morning I can't wait to see how many eggs I can gather up, how many vegetables and herbs I can pick. With my family's favorite recipes and my home cooking skills, I enjoy sharing what I've learned over the years with you. I'm also part of iFood.TV Networks. New shows every Wednesday. So welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today I'm going to show you one of my family's favorite recipes. So let's get started. Today what I'm going to show you is how I make my cinnamon buns. So the first thing that I'm going to start out with is I have three-fourths cups of warm milk. I'll place that in. Two packets of the Rapid Rise yeast. Two sticks of butter at room temperature. There's one. That's two. Three eggs that I also have at room temperature. In my mixing bowl, I have three-fourths cup of warm milk, two sticks of butter at room temperature, three eggs at room temperature, two packets of the Rapid Rise yeast, and I'll be adding in a half a cup of sour cream at room temperature. So all these ingredients were at room temperature that I'm using. I'll mix this all together and then I'll... I mixed it until it was all mixed. Now I'll gradually add in four cups to five cups of flour depending on how much I need. So just keep an eye on it. You want the dough to be soft. You don't want it to be too sticky. So I have four cups right here and I'll gradually add it in. These homemade cinnamon buns are so good. I add raisins and walnuts. Now that I have some of the flour mixed in with my milk, sour cream, and butter, I'll be placing my dough hook on. And I'll add in the rest of my flour. I'll also scrape down the sides. When your dough starts rising up on your dough hook, you know that you're doing a good job. So I have a total of five cups of flour in here. So now I'll remove my dough hook.
Now I'll knead the rest of my dough by hand and then I'll put it in a greased bowl and let it rise. The dough is nice and soft. So I'm just rolling my dough into the center, taking the edges and rolling it in. And you'll do this for about five minutes. The dough feels really nice and soft. Now that everything's mixed in, the flour, the sour cream, the butter, the eggs, and I knead the dough all together, I place it in a greased bowl with a towel over it under my heat lamps, and I'll wait till it gets double in size. So that usually takes about an hour or so. Now that my dough has risen double in size, I place some flour down on my counter. This dough is so nice and soft. I want to make sure it's floured enough so I can roll it out and it doesn't stick to my counter. Now I'll roll up my dough square. Try to make a perfect square. I have my oven preheated for 350. Now for the center part of my cinnamon buns. I have 3 fourths cups of white sugar that I'll place in my bowl. In my bowl I'll place 3 tablespoons of cinnamon. There's one. Two. I'll mix the cinnamon and sugar together. That's what it looks like. I'll take about three fourths cup of raisin. I'll place a three-fourths cup of raisin into my cinnamon and sugar. To my cinnamon, sugar, and raisins, I'll place in one cup of chopped walnuts. Mix it all together. And that's what you end up with. Now that my dough is squared out, I'll place my mixture and I'll keep it away from the edge, probably about a half an inch away from the edge.
and just spread everything around. This smells so good. Now I'll cut the dough in half. Now I'll roll it up. I'm rolling it up not too tight. That's what it looks like. I'm using this greased cake pan. And I'll place them around. And that's what you end up with. I have six cinnamon rolls. Now I'll cover this and I'll let this double in size. Once my cinnamon buns double in size, that's when I'll place it in my 350 degree oven and bake for one hour or until the top turns a nice golden brown. It really smells good, this cinnamon sugar. The cinnamon buns are like if you were to go to the store and buy them, they're really, really good. Now I'll turn off my heat lamps. And you can see how nice they doubled in size. So now I'll place it in my oven on 350 for about an hour or until you see the top of it turning a nice golden brown. They smell good, I really smell that cinnamon. Let me check on the cinnamon buns. Oh yeah, look at how nice they're turning out. You can see how nice they're getting. A few more minutes and then I'll be taking them out. For the topping for my cinnamon buns, I have one cup of confectionery sugar. To this, I'll be adding in two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. There's one. There's two. Blend it all together. I'll add in one more. I want it just a little bit more creamier. So that's a total of three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Yeah, that's better. And that's what it looks like. So that's one cup of confectionery sugar to three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. I just blended it together. Once my cinnamon raisin buns come out of the oven, then I'll place this on top and it'll melt right in and oh, it's so good. It's been about an hour. Oh yeah, look at how good that turned out. See how nice and brown that looks? This came out perfect. 
So I'll let it cool for about five minutes and then I'll put the glaze on top and mmm, mmm, mmm. These cinnamon buns are really good. In about five minutes. Now I'll take this glaze. Spread it on top. Then it'll melt in. Oh yeah. Doesn't that look good? So in about five minutes, I'll be taking this over to my neighbors and they're gonna have homemade cinnamon buns. Mm -mm. Can't wait to have them. Thanks for tuning in to Home Cooking with Cheryl. And please follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, Twitter, and especially iFood.tv. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.